hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from brett cooper and it's titled man be careful of this tiktok trend you guys i'm excited for this and without much ado let's see what brett cooper has for us in this video welcome back to the comment section i'm brett cooper so last week we talked about girls calling men baby girl as a form of endearment. It was very, very weird. There was a general consensus that that was not great. And I'm sorry, ladies, I don't think that men appreciate being called baby girl as much as you were hoping. There is a new TikTok trend that we have to discuss, and I'm still kind of figuring out my opinion. I don't even know if I need to have an opinion on this because it seems so meaningless, and maybe that is the point. But hey, that is TikTok in a nutshell. We'll see what we can extract from this because there's always something. Girls on TikTok are calling their boyfriends husbands as a way to test them based on the man's response. And then they film it, they post it, and then the peanut gallery gives their opinion. Yeah. That's really not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, All like right. Oh my gosh. If you're confused yet, welcome to the club. But before we dive in, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and then ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or one of our live streams. So this kind of social media testing is not new. And nine times out of 10, it comes from the women. <laughs> Women. Is anybody surprised? No, we're not. So the way this works is they come up with a ridiculous thing to say or request from their significant other. If the man does not respond how TikTok wants him to respond, the correct TikTok response, whatever, they rip him to shreds in the comments. And they're like, girl, dump him, divorce him, cancel, cancel. And then the girlfriend will either do that or she will come online and defend him. And then she will get ripped into for defending the guy who responded incorrectly, again, based on the TikTok guidelines, whatever. And sometimes it is just absurd and meaningless. Like a couple of months ago, women were asking men to get an orange for them and peel it because that was apparently a symbol of love. Vice did a whole article about it. Welcome to the orange peel theory, the idea that asking your partner to perform a small task of peeling an orange is one way to test their appreciation and love. So if a man would not peel an orange, nah, cancel, dump his ass. Basically the consensus. Here's an example. I don't feel like an orange. Do you feel orange? Like I feel like an orange. Like I feel like I want to like eat an orange. Oh yeah, orange in the fridge. In the fridge? This poor man <laughs> thinks she's an orange, first of all. See, she didn't even have to ask him to peel it. He was just like, I'll peel it for you. Check, check. Oh, pulling out the middle. Even better. No, it's fine. You want a plate. Symbol of love. So the TikTok peanut gallery loved that one. Loved it. He passed flying colors, got her a plate, even though she didn't really want one. Peeled the orange without her even having to ask. Somebody commented and said, Carlo passing the orange peel theory was the only possible option in every universe. People on TikTok just love this girl's boyfriend. There was also the test recently where people would do the David and Victoria Beckham dance from their documentary, you know, at the end of it where they're like, they can run with each other, run, run. and they're like dancing. So people started taking that audio, filming themselves dancing to see if their significant other would jump in with them and dance. So for example, this guy passed. Hope you guys enjoyed my really, really excellent singing. That's Islands in the Stream. So she's dancing. It's very wholesome. It's very cute. I enjoyed this one. Oh, yeah, he's in it. Oh, yeah. And a lot of times the guy wouldn't even be on camera. Like the girl would just start filming herself and then the guy would just kind of like slink into camera like, can I dance with you? They're very, very cute. They are entertaining, but sometimes they take a turn for the worst. Like this man did not pass. And this trended for a while. And she goes up. Oh, very cute. This man has no interest. He's on his phone. I don't know what he's doing, but he did not get up and dance. And her caption reads, nine years married today, failed challenge. So this is her anniversary, their nine year anniversary, and she's going to do the trend. And she posted that and it got millions and millions of views and people were so angry. And that one honestly was kind of sad because that trend is so cute and wholesome. And you see all these happy couples. And I mean, that was their anniversary. She put on her dress and he literally just seemed not to care. I usually take these tests with a grain of salt, but on that one, I was like, oh, that actually did make me sad. He chose... Poorly. Dude, you should have at least like looked up, given her a hug, kiss. That is your wife in her wedding dress. That should be like the greatest day of your life that you are remembering. Anyway, somebody commented and said, I hope my future love does not disappoint me. Somebody else that I would legit cry. And that was probably the most serious example of any of these tests, just because it took a turn for the worst. But usually the test failings are pretty ridiculous and they shame men for a lot of, you know, nonsensical reasons. Again, who's surprised? It's 2024. It's TikTok. That's pretty normal, sadly. That is very much like the trend that we are talking about today. We're finally getting to it, I promise. Here's a breakdown of what we're talking about. The 
this all started when this girl made a video calling her boyfriend her husband to test his reaction and he instantly shuts her down making sure everyone knows that they are not married now this caused a lot of people in the comments to be very upset with her boyfriend basically asking why he's so offended to be her husband well her doing this has now started a trend where people will test their boyfriends by recording them and calling them their husbands during the recording now, there are some people who have passed this test, some people are single because of it, and some relationships have gotten really complicated because of this test. So boys, if you want a happy relationship and your girl calls you her husband, just go with it. I promise you, regardless of if you want to get married or not, your girlfriend is more than likely just doing this for the trend. And honestly, it's really more of a test to see if you actually like your girlfriend, rather than a test to see if you actually want to get married or not. That guy's name is Noah. I highly recommend following him on TikTok. He will give you all the information about trends. He usually gets to them even before I do and he is helping men out. He's telling them just smile and nod Why are you guys? What are your thoughts on this TikTok trend? Let me know in the comment section down below and you guys let's continue watching boys smile and nod because everything is a test i can do this i can do this <laughs> is it hot in here mrs bob the whole thing does just seem ridiculous like this is what we are spending our time concerning ourselves with calling our boyfriends our husbands and then turning that into a big deal it's like turning a crumb into a cupcake it literally is not necessary somebody commented and said girlfriends are becoming exam boards at this point always testing us somebody else said, i never understood the testing your partner tbh well it's becoming very very normal especially not filming it and then posting it online for people to possibly ridicule and tear apart, which has sadly become very, very normal. And I think that we should move away from that trend, possibly. That is the whole trend that we should move away from. Just in general, I think we need to value privacy a little bit more because apparently we're not doing that online. Now, the dancing with the David Beckham song trend is cute. That's one thing. It's entertaining. It's sweet. But can a guy really win or pass this boyfriend husband test? Like, what is he supposed to do? Is he just supposed to go along with you calling him your husband? Like, he's literally not your husband. Let's yeah. watch the two videos that Noah mentioned. Maybe we can get some more context. Here's the original. Okay, today I'm going to be guessing my husband's favorite thing. I'm not your husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kins. Wow. He didn't even let her finish. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> People were obviously pissed. They were so pissed. It literally started an entire trend. That video has millions of views at this point. And like Noah said, the comments were things like, I vote new man. Somebody said, girl run. Another person said, the video is only 19 seconds, but told a thousand words. Maybe you guys disagree with me. Maybe I'm crazy. But I don't think any of this is really that big of a deal. Like, are we ignoring the part where he said, not yet, Ken's, and then tried to play it off and make a joke? Like, I don't think he was like, oh, you biatch don't call me that oh you're disgusting like he made a joke about it you are dating you are not engaged you are not married i don't really think it's that big of a deal the whole thing seemed relatively playful i mean you fake choked him at the end of the video i would assume y'all play around if that is what you were doing in your car and filming and posting online now i don't know the whole story maybe there's some context that the audience is missing maybe she really wants to get married and he doesn't maybe she's begging him for a proposal and there's a lot bubbling under the surface who knows but just based on 19 seconds who cares it is a trend on tiktok but here's the other video that noah covered and people loved this one so they're stitching it okay today i'm gonna be guessing my husband's favorite thing i'm not your husband hello today i'm gonna talk about my husband's favorite color you're not gonna correct me? Mm-mm. With what? You're not my husband. Not yet. He said the same thing! It's all about the tone. But at the end, he was like, not yet. Somebody commented and said, where's the green flag guy? This is so cute. Somebody else said, that man said, nice, baby, he ready. Somebody else said, that was the girl you just wait smirk. And they're right. It was cute. It seemed like that man got really excited hearing himself be called her husband. He was like, mm, that's really sweet. I love that. Also, he doesn't really seem like a man who wants to joke around on a video. I mean, he's like half asleep, bundled up in his little like pale yellow sheets, just like mm, ready to fall asleep. Like, I don't think he's trying to have fun on TikTok. TikTok. He's like, girl, I don't know why you're filming, but okay. Can't wait to marry you. I have only watched two short videos of them, and I can guarantee these are very, very different couples just based on the way that they talk with each other, their body language, everything. We know nothing about them, though. In this case, I don't think we can say based on 20 seconds who is a good guy and who isn't. It really is not clear. And again, this test almost seems unwinnable. I think a man who is not your husband would have some kind of reaction to being called that. So calm down. Again, not a big deal. Also, imagine if a man called his girlfriend 
his wife. I'm guessing that a lot of women wouldn't like that. I personally would not like that. I'd be like, sir, I must have given you the wrong impression and be giving you the wife treatment on a girlfriend's salary because you have not gotten down on one knee and made a commitment to me in front of God and our community. So no, you cannot call me that. But that would never happen because the men online are not testing their girlfriends like the girls are. And that's just an episode for another time. We could talk about that at length. But these tests, just in general, they are ridiculous. You should not base your relationship on what you see on TikTok and what random people in the comment section of the peanut gallery are saying about a response to a stupid trend, the tone that your boyfriend takes. Granted, there are some men online and they do things and you're like, oh, maybe not. And maybe in general, we should just stop testing our loved ones for the sake of a public spectacle and possible ridicule. Like we have gotten way too comfortable with that. You guys, what are your thoughts on this TikTok trend? Do you think that because of a 20 to 30 seconds video, a relationship a relationship should be broken because of the way the guy reacted to a question that is obviously true? Let me know what you guys think about this. And I do not see why people were bashing the guy because the most important part of his reply when he said not yet was totally ignored and the first part was taken and people started running with that let me know what you guys think do you guys think this trend is worth testing on your relationship let me know in the comment section down below and i really had fun reacting to brett cooper she really did an excellent analysis of this video and i had fun with this one if you guys totally enjoyed watching give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys